Good morning everyone and this is Mr. Ong again and I will be doing a short tutorial on bearings because there were some requests from some of the subscribers on how to do bearings. Okay, so we shall do a short tutorial. So I will just go quickly. So bearings are used in navigation to indicate direction. It is an angle measured clockwise from the north. So if you have a point A and you want to find the bearings of B from A, you draw from the north and you measure from the north a clockwise direction and that is the bearing of B from A. Also, it is always expressed in three figures. So the bearing is any degrees from 0, 0, 0 degrees to 360 degrees. So if you have 45 degrees, it will be written as 0, 4, 5 degrees. And of course, the bearings of the east, which is directly there, is going to be 90 degrees or 0, 9, 0, should be 0, 9, 0. And then south downwards is 180 degrees and west is going to be 270 degrees. It is always important to note where the starting point for bearing calculation. For example, the, if we say bearing of B from A, it is different from bearing of A from B. So you need to be very careful on that. And once you have done that, you have to use angle properties. You have to use alternate angles on parallel lines, corresponding angles or co-interior angles on parallel lines, the theorems to help you solve the equation. If you are doing level one, you need to know some trigonometric Pythagoras theorem as well as trig ratio. If you are doing level two, then you have to learn how to do the sine rule and cosine rule to calculate some of the bearing question. Okay, let's look at three examples. The first one is very simple. As I said before, where the bearing comes from is very important. So for example, if the question say, if the bearing of B from A, so we're going to start at A. So the bearing of B from A is 40 degrees. So from the north, you measure 40 degrees. You want to know what is the bearing of A from B. So now you want to know the bearing on the other side. So you're going to start from B now, okay, from B. So B, so you need to draw a north. So these two lines are parallel. And you need to know the bearing from clockwise. You're going to measure the distance. The angle from that is called the bearing of A from B. So we know that this part here is going to be 180 degrees and we need to calculate this angle here. To calculate this angle, as I said before, we have to use the angles property. So if you know that this is two parallel lines, so this is an alternate angle. So if this is 40, that is also 40. So to calculate the bearing of A from B is going to be 180 plus 40 degrees and the bearing is 220 degrees. Hope you get it. Okay, now we're going to do another example. The next one is similar. Now, the bearing is the bearing of Y from X. If Y is here, the bearing of Y from X, so X is the starting point, we draw the north and the measure the angle is going to be 140. If this is 90, if east is 90 degrees, the other angle had to be 50 because 50 plus 90 is going to add up to 140. What is the bearing of X from Y? The question is, what is the bearing of X from Y? So now Y is the starting point. So we need to draw another north there. And we are going to calculate that angle here now. Okay, that is the bearing of X from y. So we know that this is the east and that's the west and that's the south. That angle here from here to here is going to be 270 degrees. We need to calculate the other angle. This angle here. That angle is, you can see an alternate angle. So if this is 50, that must be 50 degrees and that will give you the angle there. To calculate the bearing, you just add 270 degrees plus 50 degrees and the answer is 320 degrees. That is how you calculate the bearing from X from Y. Of X from Y, sorry. Okay, the last one is going to be the type of question you will get in NCA level 1. If you are doing level 2, of course, 
it will be slightly different. You have to do sine rule and cosine rule. So John is running in a triangular track. He starts from the point A, so the north here. So you're going to start the bearing. He travel. He run three kilometers to the east. So east is ninety degrees, and then from the point B. He is going to make a 30, 90 degrees turn and travel 4 kilometers south. So this is south, so that's 90 degrees and 4 kilometers. The question asks you, and then from C, he's going to run back to A. The question asks you, what is the bearing of point C from point A? So we are going to calculate the angle from here to here because it's from point A. So the bearing of C from point A is that angle there. So we know that this is 90 degrees, we need to calculate that angle here, okay? If we can get this angle, we can add to 90 and that will be the bearing. To do that, we have to use some trigonometric ratio. So what we do first, we are going to use the so cartoon or trig ratio. In this case, that angle is opposite, that is adjacent. So tangent theta, or this is, we put as theta now is equal to opposite over adjacent that will give you 4 divided by 3 to get the angle theta you just put tangent inverse 4 divided by 3 put in your calculator and the answer is 53.13 we're going to put to 1 dp 53.1 so the bearing of point c from point of point c from point a so that angle here is going to be 90 degrees plus 53 degrees, 0.1 degrees, and the bearing is going to give you 233.13 degrees. Hopefully, this short tutorial has helped you to understand a little bit more about bearing. Keep practicing, and hopefully you guys do well in your NCA, and good luck, everyone. Have a good day, and see you soon.